Thought you were gonna dress up. Boy, this is a style these days. Where'd you get that hat off my mule Molly? Yeah, I did. All right, parents, on a serious note, we're gonna give you a few tips to help keep your kids safe during Halloween. As bad as it sounds, this is just a fact of life now. Get on the internet and check your state's local website for registered sex offenders. Almost every state has one. Just go on the website and look up at the registered state sex offenders. All you have to do is give your zip code and it'll give their addresses. And make sure that your kids stay away from these houses. Know the route that your kids are going trick or treating and make sure that they check in with you at least hourly, either by stopping by the house or calling on the cell phone. And make sure that they don't deviate from the planned route that y'all set. Parents, help your kids make or pick out a costume that will be safe. Make sure the costume is fireproof or fire retardant. If your kids wear a mask, make sure the eye holes are cut out big enough to where they have good peripheral vision. Know any other activities that your kids are planning on doing other than trick-or-treating, like if they're going to a party or a school function or something at the mall. And if they're going over to a friend's house to spend the evening, make sure that you have the number to that house and that you've met their parents before. Make sure you set a time that your kids should be home by. Make sure that your kids know how important it is to be home on time and that they should call immediately if something happens and they're going to be delayed. And kids will be kids. The parents, you need to explain to all age groups the difference between a prank and a severe vandalism. Egging somebody's house or vehicle will result in serious consequences. And it may be a good idea to bring your pets in on Halloween night. Some people think it's funny to harm animals. Explain to your kids that harming animals is unacceptable and could be punished by law. Parents, be sure and feed your kids a good meal before they go out trick-or-treating. That way they won't be tempted to snack around on the candy before they have a chance to bring it home for you to inspect it. Make sure if your kids are carrying a prop on Halloween night that the tip is flexible and smooth so that no one could be hurt if it was falling on. Make sure that your kids' costumes will not get in the way and cause them to trip or fall. Parents, be sure and teach your kids to never get in a vehicle with a stranger or go into a stranger's house. And if this will happen that a stranger comes up and tries to talk to them, tell them to make lots of noise and scream and holler and get away as quick as possible to a safe place. Be sure that your kids know how to cross the street properly. They should always cross at a crosswalk or a corner. And if you have more than one youngin, make sure the older youngin knows to hold the younger youngin's hand when he crosses the street. Bob, I guess that about covers it, don't it? Well, I reckon so. There ain't but one thing left to say. Have a happy and safe Halloween!